Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how we can set up a scan to email on the new Konica Minolta i series of uh, MFDs. Uh, we've got a new uh, interface on these models. So I'm going to go through this with you. So now I'm just at the uh, web connection homepage of the machine. So you type in the IP address at the top here of, uh, of the device. Uh, you get to this front screen. We want to go in as uh, administrator, so we'll change the login user type to administrator. And we type in the password. Default password is 12345678. Say twice. Hit login. And to set up scan to email, we're going to go in and set up the SMTP settings. So I've already set it up on this one, but I'm going to go through it with you. And what I absolutely love about this new web uh, interface on the new iSeries is that you can just uh, search for any function uh, you want on the front here. You don't have to drill down into the menus to find it. So if I type in SMTP in the function search, uh, I get that shortcut link there, email. TX. So we go into there. And to set up scan to email, we're using, this is uh, using Office 365. We're going to tick this button here to enter host name. Put in smtp.office365.com as your server address. Uh, select uh, start TLS as the SSL TLS settings. You can use port number 25. And just note down here, this is for the authentication. And make sure that your admin email address is also matching the device mail address. So this is the email account you want to use for authentication for sending emails. So I've already typed that into there. And uh, make sure that the also, you use the user ID. So again, this has to be the same email address as you got up here. And lastly, you put the password in for the account and hit OK. That's completed. And also note up here, because I've already configured this, the admin email address, that's just grayed out. You can't actually edit that from this page. So if I go back uh, to the uh, to my search again, so we type in machine machine setting, and we click on the top one here, machine setting, and this is where you can type in the uh, email address. So make sure you have the email address here at the top uh, under admin registration and also down there as email address. Hit OK. And you are ready to go. If you get this message up, just say allow. And uh, you're good to log out and test it. Uh, last thing you need to do is add a email into the address book. So I'm going to show you that as well. You can do that under public access. You don't need to be admin to modify the address book. So I'm going to log in as the public user. We're going to go into store address, address book. And I can go new registration, or I've already got a couple in here. But if I go new registra registration, we select email, uh, give it a name. So the name of the, of the button. And you can put that into the index wherever you see fit. So I'm going to put it under I because admin starts with I. I'm also going to tick the main button to make it a favorite. And then we type in the email we want to send add to the address book. And uh, hit OK. And we are now ready to uh, send emails.
So I can hit return to go back to the address book or continue registration if I want to add more emails. So then we can log out. And that's it. We're ready to go.